Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Ryan Smith, president here at Raya Grand, and I'm joined today by Coach Matt Paxton. And I, this is our introduction of him to you so that everybody will know a little bit more about him. So with that, Coach Paxton, can you give us a little background of, of how you arrived here? Um, I've been coaching, um, teaching coaching in high school the last 20, I've been coaching the last 28 years, coaching the last 23 Got out of college. Well, in college, I decided I wanted to major in track and field, or wanted to major in uh, teaching. Wanted to be a teacher and wanted to be a coach. Um, started coaching and teaching right out of college, and I've been doing it ever since. Um, I decided about ten years ago, if the opportunity ever came down, uh, the opportunity ever came up here at Rio or a couple of other colleges, a very select few, I might like to coach at the college level. Um, but honestly, I've turned down a lot of positions because. I'm kind of all about, I want to develop athletes from our local community. I want to make a difference. I don't want to get kids in here that are like all world to start with and not develop them. I want to get kids that want an opportunity. I want to get kids that when uh, they come in, I can give a lot of different kids a spot on a roster. I can see who wants to develop. And over time, I can teach them how to be leaders. I can teach them how to be... Uh, self-confident. I can teach them how to run fast, but also teach them how to be great humans when they leave here. Um, and I've always been able to do that at the high school level. And people always ask, why, why, why don't you move up? And I felt like I could never do that at a college in a college environment. So when this job came up, so I, ca I looked at it and I said, well, what are the goals of the institution? What are we trying to do here? We have a large lot roster limit. We have... Um, money to be able to give to kids we're at an affordable price so that we can actually give scholarships that are so that they're getting a good value out of their education here with a large roster limit and an affordable education for students here in southeast ohio there's not a whole lot of other options so we need to make it a place where we can get every kid in this entire area here where they can learn these things and i felt like the opportunity was here the facilities are here you know the the financings here for them you know we have a great university and a great education our, our education department i think was just in the top one percent of all the education departments in, in the country recently we've got to take that and harness it and i said i can do that in college and affect a whole lot more kids just outside of my uh little six mile by six mile school district i can do that for a lot more kids in southeast ohio that are really interested in developing and my wife and i talked about it a long time and that's what that's why i decided to take the job here so that's where that's where I'm at. Well, that's awesome. We're excited to have you. Um, you mentioned the facilities. I love this setting. I don't think there's a prettier setting for a track. Uh, it's just a great facility, and I think we're going to grow from here. My well, my wife came down for our anniversary, and she posted on the Facebook. She had a picture of us sitting right on that end, and was like, "You're never." So, something along the lines of she just told me she just you, you're never going to see anything like this. Where else are you going to see a track that's out where you can see? The hills you can see a you can see a fishing pond, you know you can see Bob Evans Farm. You, it's such a unique environment. We don't have that anywhere else. And and right here, this it, it's peaceful. We can get all the people out here for track. We've got we've got a state of the art facility, one of the best facilities I've seen. Um, we've got all the all the equipment you could possibly ever use. We've got mountain bike trails. It's 15 miles worth of those on that hill and around that which are very good at injury prevention we've got an entire cross-country course and probably room to put in another two or three cross-country courses right here on campus and we've got more dirt roads around here i was even in chillicothe we were driving about 20 to 30 minutes to find one 10 mile gravel loop i can run from my office go a half a mile and hit gravel roads for days that training environment just doesn't exist anywhere particularly for the distance runner kids that training environment doesn't exist for the sprinters and the throwers, we got one of the best throwing facilities ever. I think we've got seven or eight rings around here between shot, disc. We've got two international cages sitting over there for hammer. That type of facilities just doesn't exist anywhere. So it's amazing. You can tell he's excited. I mean, anybody that spent his date night on his anniversary at the track is committed to this program. So that <laughs> excites me. You took over a program from somebody in Coach Willie that established it and has been here for 42 years. Um, talk about uh, that as far as where, where it is, but also what your vision is, where you want to take it. Coach Willie recruited me out of high school. My best friend came down here. Um, his son's actually going to be coming in in our first class here. We just got him interested the other day, and he's going to be coming down here. Um, I wanted to come down here, and it just didn't quite work out for me, but I stayed close with Coach. Um, a lot of my friends ran down here. 
then when it was time to get a graduate degree, one of the big selling points of the graduate degree I got here was the fact that Coach Willie was going to be my graduate advisor. He was the one that was going to advise me for classes and teach a lot of my classes. So I've had a really close relationship with him for, oh gosh, my entire adult life. Um, I've respected him as a coach. He's given me some of the best training advice I've ever seen. The man's forgotten more about track and field than most people ever know. Um, when he decided, you know, when it was time for him to step down, we talked for a very long time. And I think he was happy that I was taking the position because I am one of his people. I mean, I've, I've known Coach for a very long time, and I think we have a lot of the same values. Um, there's some stuff I want to do differently, for, for sure, as far as I have a lot more connections with the high school coaches where I've been in it for almost 30 years. I know a lot more people around the local area. Um, and a lot of the new, newer training things I think I'm a little bit more in tune with. And, and frankly, I've just, I've been kind of, how do I, how do I put it? I didn't know if I would ever take a college coaching opportunity, so I am super excited about it. So right now I've got the energy to just go out there and try to make this the best program we can possibly make it. Well, needless to say, you've got a lot of energy. We're excited to have you. We can't wait for this year to begin, and we look forward to uh, the future and what's to come. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.